Sailfish opened up its gates for a three-game set against the Eckerd College Tritons over the weekend. First game was Friday night, where the baseball was handed to Josh Turner, who came out and provided a solid start for the Fish, but unfortunately, offense could not get things going. And due to express written consent, which we did not have, we don't have the highlights for that game. Fish fall 2 to nothing, but came back with a different story in game number two. Tyler Shore came out strong. Let his fish to a 4-1 to one lead all the way in to the 8th inning, but defensive miscues allowed the Tritons to get back and tie it. Sean Viscata seen here, able to connect with the baseball, send it deep into the outfield, picks himself a stand-up double. So the fish bats start to get going a little bit in game number two. Andres Vasquez to the plate, Sean on second. Andres able to collect with a hit through the left side. Sean would have to stay put at second base, but Andres puts himself aboard. So you got two fish out of the base paths. Offense was going, pitching, bullpen comes in. Big outs by Eric Russell, keeping the Sailfish in position to stay close in this ball game, which was exchange of punches as we had to go extra innings to find the winner of this one. Sailfish would get the lead, lose the lead, then find themselves having to swim back to get the victory here tonight. Freshman Ryan Johnson at the plate, reminding everybody, it's not over. It's not over till PBA says it's over. Johnson connecting with a big hit, a game-tying single. But that tie would not last for long as Eckert came back to take a two-run lead into the bottom of the 13th inning, where the Sailfish had to go back to work again. Rally caps it all, ready to go. Chris Farrell at the plate leads off with a single. So Farrell able to get himself aboard, setting the stage for big number 13. Andres Vasquez with another opportunity to help him and his teammates out. Vasquez set, dialed in, and once you know it, big guy delivers. Andres Vasquez connects, and it's a double into the outfield, goes all the way to the wall. Here we see Chris Farrell chugging. I think I can, I think I can. Trying to get ahead of the throw, and he does. Pulls a sailfish within one. Pat Kane would come in, knock him into tie it, set us to the 14th where Casey Kopech able to pick up a key double play. That would get us all set for the bottom of the 14th inning. Here we see Sean Viscati at the plate and he knocks in the winner. Scoring is Eddie Vicenanza. The Sailfish pull this one out unbelievably. Eight to seven here at home. We're here with sophomore Sean Viscani. Sean, a 14-inning marathon. Several times you and your teammates had the opportunity to take the lead. You lost the lead, but then you guys didn't give up. You had the opportunity in the bottom of the 14th inning to come through with a big hit. Walk us through your at-bat. Um, well, I was looking fastball away with two strikes. Got the two and two. Um, but the guy was coming in on most of our... Uh, <laughs> All right, come on over, come on over. So can you, now you, you got to stay concentrated, so it's, you got to focus on the interview here. All right, Sean, you had the opportunity, runner in scoring position at second base. Just talk about that pitch, what you were looking for and what you were able to do. Well, the guy was coming in on most of our batters. Mm -hmm. The um, late pitching staff was doing that against us. So I was geared up for a fastball away, but uh, I was ready for a fastball in. The guy came high and in, so I just looked to turn on it. Worked out. You guys come from behind. You get the win. You're over 500 for the first time. Obviously, your teammates love you for it. You get to send everybody home, and you get to send everybody home with the win. You guys are now over 500 for the first time. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And now we're here with head coach Kent Botfield. Kent, we get to talk about an amazing ending, and I just want to let you know right now, don't worry, nobody's coming behind you with any sweet Good. tea or That's unsweet nice tea as you like. Can, nobody's going to douse you with that. But congratulations on the win. In a game that a lot of us witnessed, back and forth, almost gave it away, but you guys were able to come together and fight for something here at home that you thought you deserved in the end, and you earned it. Well, I think it's something we've talked about even in these post-game interviews. Our guys are so focused from the first inning to the last, whether it's nine innings or 14. They're continuing to share information on pitchers and hitters all the way throughout the game. They're so fa focused, and that's what causes, uh, allows us to come back and, and do this. I, I didn't expect it quite like this, but pretty amazing. Now, you guys fought hard on Friday night as well. Ended up losing 2 to nothing. The bats came out in game number one. Huge offensive output, and you had a different lineup. 
you did you mix things up a little bit, but the guys that didn't get to play in that first game, they stayed up. They supported the guys that had a chance to step up for them. And that's a great point. That that shows that's a great point on how our guys are all focused. I mean, guys that haven't played. Eddie hasn't played really all year, and he's made some great plays defensively tonight. Uh, offensively got on base when we needed him to be. I mean, there's other guys. Hakeem hasn't played much lately, getting big hits in the first game. Rivera. I mean, you can go down the list. Every one of the guys that haven't been playing came up big in either one of the two games. And so that is a great, I mean, that's a great team effort right there. Yeah, I spoke with Hakeem after game one. I said, hey, good job out there, you know, the first game. And he said, we got one more to go. We got to get this next one. And that, that's just an amazing mentality you got with this team here this year. That's their mindset. It's difficult to win a doubleheader because when you win the first game, it's easy to take the foot off the gas pedal. And these guys refuse to do it. And so it's an it's amazing team. Over 500 for the first time this year. You guys are moving along. Got some positive thoughts in there. Congratulations. Thank you very much.